Okay, now question number 17. It says compute the magnitude and principal argument of the following complex numbers. So if we start from A, uh, clearly we know that for a given complex number of this form that is A plus IB, the magnitude of this complex number will be the square root of A square plus B square and uh, its argument will be that is the angle between the positive x axis and the uh, line which is determined by the components of the complex number itself will be tan inverse of b over a so that's if when we apply these things for a we have z is equal to 1 minus i therefore the magnitude of this complex number will be the square root of the real parts the square root of the square of the real and the square of the imaginary part which is equal to the square root of 2 and its principal argument will be that is tan inverse of minus 1 over 1 since the components of the complex number are 1 and minus 1 so that the angle is situated in the fourth quadrant so that tan inverse of minus 1 is negative pi over 4 therefore the for this complex number the argument is negative pi over 4 and the magnitude of the number is or simply the complex number is radical 2 the second one that is b which is w is equal to 1 minus 2i to the power of 3 over minus 1 minus i so that first we have to simplify first this fraction into general form that is x plus and w is equal to x plus i y therefore the simplified form will be uh, it is already simplified previously that is 11 minus 11 plus 2i over minus 1 minus i that is minus 11 plus 2i will be obtained by multiplying 1 minus 2i three times by itself so in order to convert into general form we have to multiply again this one by the complex conjugate of the complex conjugate of this one that is minus 1 minus i therefore we will obtain this one that is 9 over 2 minus 13 over 2i then the and a norm or simply the magnitude as well as the argument of this fraction or simply this thing could be exactly equivalent to that of this one therefore the magnitude would be the square root of the sum of this plus the square of its imaginary part which is equal to 5 over to radical 10 and the argument of the same complex number will be argument is equal to an inverse of this one which is further simplified to an inverse of negative 13 over 9 Again, it is an angle situated in the fourth quadrant because the y component of the line is negative and x component or the real component is 9, which is positive. And therefore, it is uh, could be approximated as negative 11 pi over this one that is 36. The next one that is C. That is given by z is equal to 1 plus i so that's it is already in it is simplest or simplified form so that the norm would be the square root of 1 square plus 1 square which is square root of 2 and it is argument will be uh, tan inverse of 1 over 1 or tan inverse of 1 which is common angle that is uh, pi over 4 which is positive because both the first and second component of the uh, a real and complex part of a complex number is positive so that it is an angle in the first quadrant then question number 18 is about again complex number that is let's say 10 w be any complex numbers and z to bar p denote the complex conjugate of that then we are asking just to show these things so if we start from the first one that is a uh, generally we have this one that is for z is equal to x plus i y it is complete conjugate will be this one uh, you know and therefore in the first one just to observe this we know that the real part of every complex number or the x component of every complex number will be less than or equal to the norm of the real part of the complex number itself because we can consider the real part of the complex number that is the real number and every real number is a complex number so that we can see in this pattern and it is the magnitude of this thing would be the square root of the square of the real part of the complex number itself 
and again this could be less than or equal to the square root of the real part of the complex number square plus the imaginary the square of the imaginary part because of the existence of this thing this expression must be or simply will be greater than or equal to that of this one then but the square root of the square of the real part and the plus the square of the imaginary part of a single or simply unique complex number will be it is norm or simply magnitude therefore from this we can relate the real part of the complex number is less than or equal to the norm of the same complex number that is norm of z similarly for the second one that is b that is the imaginary part of the complex number we have this one that is the imaginary part of a complex number is less than or equal to the norm of the complex number and the norm of this could be written as the square root of the square of the imaginary part itself therefore if we add the square of the real part to and this thing we have this expression which is less than or equal to that of this one this is greater than because of the existence of this positive number and this is clearly norm of the complex number therefore the imaginary part of the complex number is clearly less than or equal to the norm of the complex number itself so that each components of the complex number that is the real part and the imaginary part of a complex number are less than or equal to that of the norm of the complex number and next one that is c and the relationship that exists in between the norm of a complex number and it is complex conjugate uh, we have z is equal to x plus i y and it is complex conjugate that is z is equal to x minus i y we know that the norm of the first complex number that it is one is the square root of x square plus y square but this could be written as the square root of x square plus minus y square because minus y square is already positive which is identical with this one there is no any difference in between y square and negative the square of negative y so that but this expression is equivalent with the norm of this one that is z bar therefore from this we can have these two things are equivalent to each other therefore the norm of a complex number and it is complex going with are identical or simply equivalent uh, next one that is b the relationship okay uh, sorry okay geometrical let it, let, let it, it looks like this one so let me try to explain it so we may, we can start by letting this one that is o a b the norm of z or simply complex number that is it and the this one to be that of w so the distance from here up to that of this one b will be the norm of second complex number that's w so if we take or simply if we apply for example that is vector addition we know that ob plus ba is exactly equivalent to that of this one that is oa therefore if we consider this one we have ba that is this one that is the green one the, dif the difference between the norm of z minus w is equal to oa minus b which is directly taken from vector addition then if we apply again the reality which is related to that of a triangle we know that uh, the sum of the two sides of any two sides of the triangle must be larger than that of what the third side therefore ba which is this one is less than or equal to the sum of the other sides that is oa and this one which is ba but what ba here is in the sense of that of the complex number it is the norm of z minus w uh, oa oa this one that is norm of z plus this one that is norm of w therefore clearly geometrically we can prove this one or if we apply triangle inequality for the sum of vectors again we have this one that is norm of z plus w is less than or equal to norm of z plus norm of w but what will happen if we substitute minus w in the place of this one that's w so if we replace this one by minus w we have z minus w that is norm of z minus w less than or equal to norm of z plus norm of minus w but we know that the norm of negative w and w are the same
identical therefore we have this one that is norm of z minus w this is angle equal to norm of z plus norm of w the next one is again on the complex number again which is on the representation of complex numbers in polar form it says put the following complex numbers in polar form so the first one will be normally we know that if we have a complex number of this form so that the polar form will be z is equal to r, r into cosine of theta plus i sine theta where r is the magnitude of the complex number and theta is the principal argument or the angle between the positive x axis and uh, the line which is determined by the complex number itself so if we have start from the first one that is a that is z is equal to 4 minus 3i so in order to represent this one in polar form we only calculate the magnitude that is r end the argument which is theta so that for this one the magnitude will be the square root of 4 square plus the square root of minus 3 square which is equal to 5 and the argument that is theta will be tan inverse of negative 3 over 4 which could be approximated as 85 over pi therefore the polar form of this complex number will be z is equal to this one 5 which is r or the magnitude of the complex number times cosine of negative pi over 5 plus i times sine of negative pi over 5 similarly b that is 2 minus uh, 3i over 1 minus i therefore again in order to determine this one again the polar form of this one our first activity that is the first method will be converting this one into general form so the simplified form of this thing will be 17 plus 7i over 26 therefore uh, first the magnitude of the simplified form will be this thing that is the square root of 338 over uh, 26 uh, and the argument that is tan will be a tan inverse of this thing over this one which is equal to tan inverse of 7 over 17 which can be approximated as 11 pi over 90 this is positive angle in uh, first quadrant because both are uh, positives therefore the polar form of this complex number would be uh, this thing that is z is equal to this is r and this one is theta therefore the square root of 338 over 26 into cosine of 11 pi over 90 plus i times 11 pi over 90 will be the polar representation of this fraction then the next one is c again the simplified form for this one is it is previously simplified this one in the previous questions so that we have this one therefore the last simplified form would be 3 plus i over uh, over 3 therefore the norm for this one is radical 10 over 3 and it is principal argument is tan inverse of 1 over 3 that is because we have 1 over 3 and 1 here which is pi over 10 therefore the polar form of this expression or this number clearly will be a radical 10 over 3 which is the norm times cosine of pi over 10 plus i times sine of pi over 10 okay next question will be question number 20 express each of the following in the form of x plus i y so that uh, from the first one we know that for example that is the inner one that is i is equal to uh, cosine of pi over 2 plus sine of pi over 2 in um, polar form so if we apply the more verse for, uh, rule i to the power of 110 will be this one that is cosine of 101 pi over 2 plus i times this thing because already the, we have r the power of 
101 because r is 1 so that 1 to the power of 101 is already 1 and therefore the x and y component of this thing will be big we know that cosine of 101 pi over 2 is already 0 and sine of 101 pi over 2 is 1 so that we have one i here which is equal to i or if we apply another thing we know that i to the power of 101 is i to the power of 100 times i which is equal to 1i therefore it is already i therefore this is the other way of expressing i to the power of 101 okay sorry uh, the next one is this thing 1 minus i to the power of 1 over 3 we know that 1 over 1 minus i first the norm is radical to and the principal argument for this one negative pi over 4 so that 1 minus i is equal to radical to times this expression so that 1 minus i to the power of 1 over 3 will be you think again the theorem that already we know previously radical to the power of 1 over 3 1 well, to the power of 1 1 or 3 times cosine of negative 1 over 3 pi over 4 plus this thing but cosine of negative 1 over 3 pi over 4 is approximated to be that of this one and sine of the same angle would be radical to over 2 therefore this could be um, the other version or simple way of expressing this complex number in the form of x plus i y okay that is all what i have for today thank you for watching uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe this channel to like comment and share this video with your friends thank you